This is part 5, programming an IA switch, or all your IA switches. Uh, again, like uh, presets and songs and set lists, uh, you can go directly to an IA switch just by typing in the number. Uh, you can scroll up or down. Let's go ahead and get that from the liquid foot. Save it. Uh, so that's one way to navigate. Uh, the other way to navigate is to go over to the um, uh, the IA switches themselves and uh, by clicking on them uh, it's changing the other side of the screen so a green light tells me that's the current switch that I'm programming I'll go back to the programming area in a second uh, the color of the text tells you the group number uh, you can see if I scroll down for this switch, which is switch S14, it's a stomp switch and it's of group zero, which means it's not assigned to a group. Uh, there's no, uh, well, it's not set for a sync, and so S14 has a black text mark. Whereas if I go to S1, which has a red text that says uh, switch number one, and you can then see that it's assigned to group number two. So if I want to assign groups to switches, I would click on the switch number and uh, just simply uh, change the group. So you can group switches together very rapidly and visually uh, the editor will tell you the status. So the green again, the green box tells me that that's the current switch I'm programming. The color of the text tells me uh, which group uh, from 0 through... Um, I'm sorry, from 1 through 15, uh, that uh, this switch is a, a part of, if it's group 0, that means it's not attached to a, uh, a uh, group at all. Okay, so basically programming an IA switch is, is relatively simple in its basic use. Uh, there's a lot of fancy programming you can do. I'm just going to show you the uh, basics in this uh, tutorial. The um, IA switch has two states. There's an on state, which means when you press a IA switch to turn it on, it goes green. What programming commands does it send? Uh, and then if I click this message, I can program the off states. I'm going to go ahead and grab a uh, preset or two off of the uh, liquid foot here. Uh, I didn't program any in. Okay, fair enough. Um, so how do we program messages? The same way we program them in presets. Uh, we pick the command we want to send. Now we could do special commands, which I'll talk about in a second, or just your normal MIDI commands. So let's say we're going to send a CC or continuous controller. We then pick the MIDI channel that we're going to send to. So let's say the sending to my XFX. And uh, then I type in the uh, data for the CC. Um, yeah, for a CC number, you're typically just going to define the CC channel in, in um, uh, data value 1, and you'd leave data value 2 alone. For, um, excuse me, you'd uh, set the number. Uh, I did that wrong. So CC number, MIDI channel, the CC value, uh, let's say 7 for volume, and then the data number. Uh, so 127 would be full volume and 0 would be off. So you can send CCs, you can send program change messages, pick a channel, type in a, uh, a patch number, say 23, pretty simple stuff. Uh, so you have full access to all the MIDI commands, and then with the liquid foot you have special commands. So if I click on uh, special command, uh, here I can establish the IA switch as a tuner. So when I press it, up comes the tuner on the display for guitar tuning. Um, I can have a step command uh, so that uh, I can control uh, a set of MIDI commands. I'll explain this in more detail in a, uh, a separate video just explaining IA switch programming. Uh, but uh, I press the switch once and it runs a certain set of commands. It waits until uh, it finds another step command and for the second press it'll run these commands and then I can have a third command and so on and so on. I can fill up the memory with multiple step commands. A lot of, a lot of functionality for this. Uh, so that's step commands. IA switch page turning. Uh, 
Here you can uh, program an IA switch with either a 0 or a 1. If you program a second command with 0, then when you press the um, IA switch and this command gets triggered, it'll switch the liquid foot to page 1, which is uh, IA switches S1 to S16. Uh, that's page 0. If I change this to a 1, then when I press this IA switch, it's going to shift li liquid foot into uh, page 1 mode, and that's going to display um, the status of S17 through S32 IA switches. Uh, pretty straightforward. IA linking, you can have one switch linked to another. Uh, you just type in the link right here. Uh, you can pro turn on on messages or off messages of a particular switch or change its state. Blast messages allow you to set a uh, uh, controller number a CC number and it'll the liquid foot will send a value of 127 to every single MIDI channel uh, in this case uh, CC number uh, 3. And a SysX block I'm going to show you when we go to the SysX menu next um, that uh, from here we can send a dump, a SysX dump of uh, any size really. Um, typically you do them in chunks of uh, 16 bytes uh, but you're totally free to do it from three bytes all the way up to a uh, uh, couple hundred. So that's how you would send a SysX block uh, using an IA switch. Okay, so that's special mode uh, programming. So again, uh, we have our on mes off messages. Go ahead and save that. Uh, we have our on messages for this IA switch, so IA switch number one is going to send all these commands uh, if I'm in an on state, and when it goes to an off state it's going to send these commands. So you have up to 20 of each on and off state. So that's how you program the MIDI uh, commands for a switch. Uh, as far as the parameters for a switch, let's move over to this part of the screen. Uh, there are three types of switches uh, settings. You can have a stomp switch, which means press the switch once, it goes green. Press it again, it turns red or um, uh, or shuts off. So just normal stomp mode. Momentary means that as you press and hold the IA switch on the liquid foot, it sends the on command. As soon as you let go of the IA switch, it sends the off commands. So it's a momentary switch. And then a step-through switch, again, if uh, you have programming uh, where you want the switch to behave in a step function, uh, you just set it as a uh, step switch. Very, very simple, straightforward, very easy to program. Uh, again, group assignment, uh, you can assign buttons to groups. Essentially what that means is that, um, and let's go ahead and do this, so I'm going to assign uh, S29 to group number one. I'm going to save it. I'm going to assign S30 to group number one, and then I'll go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to assign group number 31 to number one, and I'm going to save that. Okay. So now what I just did very quickly is um, clicked on three switches, S29, S30, and S31. You can see the text is white. That means they're all assigned to uh, group number one. So uh, when I'm using the Liquid Foot Live, if I hit S29 and it goes green, the rest shut off and they'll go red or into a gray state, depending on how you programmed your preset. If I click S1, then S29 and S31 will go dark and so on. You get the idea. Okay. Also within a switch, uh, you have some flexibility in assigning third-party devices that uh, the liquid foot can sync to. Uh, this is mainly used for auto-syncing or auto-loading. Uh, by default, it syncs to no device. You can right now sync to an Axe FX, and if you do, the range of uh, effects that are in the Axe FX are selectable. So you pick the, let's say we wanted this switch to control a flanger, and now it controls a flanger. You can uh, sync to a Line 6 pod device, and if so, they have a few less effects that you can actually sync to, uh, but here's how you would sync to them. Uh, if you have a liquid tracks, uh, there are more syncable capabilities coming, but uh, 
stop start mute trigger you can sync to that and we'll soon be adding uh, some of the uh, TC electronics uh, equipment to the personality list so you can sync to those devices as well so that's how you program an IA switch so again uh, you have off messages 20 off messages 20 on messages uh, you scroll up and down to pick the switch um, and then over here you can either select a switch that way as well but here it represents the uh, grouping as defined in your uh, group